you're already acting like boyfriend and girlfriend, why not make it official? What is scaring Will? I don't like how Will Will is acting like he has one foot out the door as if he's looking for an escape after the show is over. That's what it feels like to oh, me. She, I don't know. she says it's kind of weird. The relationship is kind of weird. I'm like, yes. Yes, Bailey. The relationship is weird because Jeremy is a weird human being. I need Trina to literally win the cash prize and I hope she gets the envelope with the money and I hope she keeps it for herself. Because Corey was like, from the first day I came into the villa when I came down the stairs or the first person I saw... I'm like, Corey, okay, relax. You know what? The devil works hard, but Jeremy's spirit works harder. This man is still in the villa after how many attempts? I'm like, Trina, you're not really one to speak about crocodile tears, but you know, I forgive you, sis, because I really like you now. Corey, if they're coupling up to make more money, I support it 100%. But do I think they're coupling up because it's pure, genuine connections in terms of relationship and love? Body for me, I love your job, love your job. No, do, no, do. No, do my, my, no, girl, girl, hey everyone, I'm your host Mayoko and today I am back with another video on Love Island USA Season 3, Episode 24. Let's get straight into the video. This episode was two hours for absolutely no reason at all. There, there was no substance to this episode. It felt like, honestly, it felt like punishment. You guys know when they force you to watch something, that's what it felt like. And honestly, nobody forced me to watch it, but obviously I had to bring a review for y'all, okay? Because I know a lot of you said you weren't going to watch the episode because Cash left. You didn't miss much at all. Two hours that, honestly, I will never get back, unfortunately, for me. <laughs> but let's just jump straight into the recoupling. Ellie and Casey have officially left the villa. Jeremy is still there. You know what? The devil works hard, but Jeremy's spirit works harder. This man is still in the villa. After how many attempts? We, I, I, do you know what? Let Jeremy just win at this point. Clear, because what is going on? He, he doesn't want to leave, so maybe this prize is for him. I'm so confused. So the top three couples were Kira and Will, Olivia and Corey, Trina and Andre. You guys, let me tell you something. Something of America, when, when it's time to vote, we vote, okay? Cause how the hell is Trina still in the? <laughs> how the hell is Trina? Not how the hell is Trina still in the villa? How the hell did Trina get top three <laughs> with Andre? Even they were surprised. Trina was like, "What?" Andre was like, "They were both surprised." And I'm sure everyone in the villa was like, "Huh? Y'all are not even a couple. How did you guys get there?" But that's the power of social media because I'm pretty sure we all did what we had to do, and we need Trina to win. I need Trina to literally win the cash prize, and I hope. She gets the envelope with the money, and I hope she keeps it for herself. And, you know, and doesn't split it. Or she splits it with Cash outside. Speaking of Cash, Cash has reunited with Cinco. <laughs> you guys know, well, most of you know how I feel. If you watch my previous videos, you know I'm not here for this Cash and Cinco relationship outside the villa. As friends, I 100% agree they should be friends. I love that for them. But as a couple, like a relationship couple, mm -mm, I do not support it one bit. Cash is currently in Virginia. <laughs> she missed her flight back to LA because she had a layover in um, DC and Cinco is from the DMV. So she had a layover in DC. Cinco went to visit her at the airport and why do we see snaps of them in Cinco's house and the parents are cooking for <laughs> for Cash? Like, what's going on here? Like, Cash, Cash is currently with Cinco. That's the funniest thing ever. As friendship, I love it, like I said. But as a relationship, I'm not here for it. Let me tell you guys something. What I think is happening currently is the producers understand that nobody wanted Cash to leave. Oh, well, most people didn't want Cash to leave. So they're trying to milk this Cinco and Cash relationship thing for views. And, you know, in terms of, like, production smart move smart move because when cash left the villa she facetimes cinco and they have like a whole production team about them facetiming and then they're like are we gonna meet outside the villa cinco has such a calm personality so i don't even know where he stands do i think he likes cash no a lot of people are gonna come for me i know a lot of you think cinco loves cash i know i know it looks like it but unfortunately for me i don't see it okay i really don't so good luck to them as friendship let me tell you something. If they do couple up or pretend to couple up, they're going to get more money. They're going to get more sponsorships, more brand deals. So I'm here for it. If they're coupling up to make more money, I support it 100%. But do I think they're coupling up because it's pure, genuine connections in terms of relationship and love? No, I don't. But let's move on. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. 
but let's move on let's talk about how this episode started it started off with trina trina does not like charlie one bit trina and olivia don't like charlie trina was like not charlie with the crocodile tears <laughs> i'm like trina you're not really one to speak about crocodile tears but you know i forgive you sis because i really like you now trina is really growing on me but trina should not be talking about no crocodile tears because she was the queen of crocodile tears in the last few episodes so i don't want to hear it but she came for charlie she was like so what so what do you think the relationship is like with Atlanta and Charlie's like I actually regret it I regret it so see, basically Trina was checking for she was like she didn't let him go she was like so what do you think you're doing here in terms of love Trina was on his ass okay Trina was not playing with Charlie you can tell she doesn't like him you can tell she doesn't like the fact that he hurt cash so mm -mm, her and Olivia mm -mm, they don't care for Charlie one bit and rightfully so because neither do I I don't really care for Charlie although he was actually pretty funny this episode during um they had like a challenge and the girls had to like make the boys do different things so what's her name uh ellie ellie had to make charlie per like meow <laughs> and charlie was not having it charlie was looking like what is this girl making me do but the girls aced it okay olivia had to let had to paint uh will's toenails trina had to make casey make her a smoothie and then she he had to drink it but not her kira had to make corey braid her hair bailey had to get jeremy to give her a foot massage so it was just a funny cute challenge and i can't lie i was laughing the whole time that was the that was probably the only part i laughed at during this episode trina during this episode says she's actually having feelings for andre so that's cute to see do i think andre has feelings for her no but you know trina is a lover girl i feel like she falls hard and she, she said it she said like when she falls when she falls in love she falls in love so i'm really scared i hope she doesn't go too deep with andre because i don't even think his feelings are genuine for her like that because he keeps emphasizing it's a friendship couple but trina is low-key catching feelings so let's see how that works out for her because i don't think anybody knew is coming into the villa for trina so if her and Andre can milk it to the end, they better milk it to the end because I will be voting for Trina, okay? I don't care. I'll be voting for Trina and I hope she gets the money and keeps it to herself. We also see Olivia and Corey's relationship this episode. You guys, them, this love, it must be real because they keep talking about each other. They start kissing. They're holding each other at night. I, I don't really care for the relationship, but if Olivia is happy with Corey and Corey is happy with Olivia, I'm happy they're happy i guess right i don't know what else do we really have to say about these two like it's so awkward how it transpired but i'm guessing friends do i, I don't know i guess true relationships do start off as friendships because corey was like from the first day i came into the villa when i came down the stairs or the first person i saw i'm like corey okay relax stop you know stop adding too many things and then olivia was like oh my gosh me too i'm like oh my gosh here we go i feel like production i feel like production is milking that relationship as well because it just came out of nowhere do i think it's cute just a little bit like just just a tiny bit but do i think it's awkward yes very very awkward so casey and ellie were voted the most incompatible couple and rightfully so because before the recoupling ellie was talking about how she doesn't really have an emotional connection with him like he's very attractive but there's no emotional connection and she feels like it's just basically she friend zoned him but casey i don't know why he didn't understand that casey really thought she was joking maybe because casey was like i'm still gonna pursue her i'm like bro casey she does not want you but see now they've left the villa good luck to them i know they're not they're definitely going to be a couple outside the villa but good luck to them later on in the episode will and kira also go on a date will is talking about how he doesn't believe in titles that they already act like boyfriend and girlfriend so why have the title you guys when guys say that kind of thing it it, it raises a lot of red flags for me but i don't know what do you guys think because if you're already so if you're already acting like boyfriend and girlfriend why not make it official what is scaring will i don't like how will will is acting like he has one foot out the door as if he's looking for an escape after the show is over that's what it feels like to me i don't know what do you guys think because you're doing all of this and kissing and touching and loving and blah, 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 but then you don't want a title so why are you are, why are you scared of this simple title anyway they go on a date i guess they're cute a little bit i don't think they're gonna win I don't think people care about Will and Kira winning the show. I mean, they are cute, but this always kissing. I know a lot of you are like, no, Mo, that's PDA. That's PDA. I understand. Maybe I'm just not a fan of it, but it's too much kissing. They talk. The sentence is not even over. Before the sentence finishes, they're kissing. Mid-sentence, kissing. Walking to the kitchen, kissing. Jumping on the bed, kissing. In bed, kissing. 
screaming kissing like every time kiss 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 it's enough like i don't understand every time they're kissing I'm trying to see oh, oh 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 so when charlie tells trina that he's regretting cash going home trina goes and tells alana alana goes and confronts charlie and she's like you know i kind of feel bad for you saying you regret to send cash home Da, 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 da. Charlie's like, no, I didn't mean it like that because, you know, it's a hard decision. Alana's like, that makes me feel like I'm not appreciated. I'm like, Alana, relax, okay? Like, relax because you're about to go home soon too. See, let me <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I don't know if she's about to go home. I think she's about to go home. Why? Alana, I don't, I don't have, I don't have Claire. I don't have a clear opinion about Alana. I just feel like she's just there. Like, she's just there right it's she's just there <laughs> jeremy and bailey are talking bailey's talking about how jeremy has an issue with you know flirting and he doesn't really what did she say oh she, she says it's kind of weird the relationship is kind of weird i'm like yes yes bailey the relationship is weird because jeremy is a weird human being haven't you seen him with the past four four women he's been with i don't know why you're acting surprised but anyway that was it for today's episode let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here welcome if you're not thank you so much for coming back i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow i know something is missing i know we're falling and slipping but if you let me i'll go do right touch your body put you in the mood i